Okay class, ang topic naman natin ngayon ay tungkol sa variation. Ito yung ating weeks 1 to 2, quarter 2 in Mathematics 9. Bago tayo magsimula at talakayin natin ang variation, magpapakita muna ako sa inyo ng example of equation. Okay, simula natin ang isang equation. Ano kaya ang ibig sabihin ng equation na ito? Familiar ba kayo sa equation na ito? E equals mc squared. Okay, class. Ang tawag sa equation na ito, kung matatandaan nyo, itong equation na ito ay na-discovered ni Albert Einstein. Siya ay isang German mathematician na kung saan malaki ang ambag or contribution sa ating variation. Ang ibig sabihin nito, the ratio of energy to mass is equal to the speed of light squared. Ang original formula niya ay E over M equals C squared na kung saan dinerive niya ang formula into standard form E equals MC squared. Then later on, malalaman nyo kung anong type ng variation ang nakapaloob sa ating equation. How about the second one? V equals K over P. Familiar ba kayo sa ating equation? Okay, ang tawag sa equation namang ito ay Boyle's Law, na kung saan ang nakadiscover naman niya noong 1662 ay si Robert Boyle, wherein the meaning of this equation, V equals K over P, states that as pressure of gas increases, the volume decreases. Ibig sabihin, ang original equation pala nito ay nanggaling sa PV equals K na kung saan ang K ay nagre-represent sa constant of variation. Again, later on malalaman nyo kung ano bang uri or type ng variation ang nakapaloob din sa equation na ito. Again, yung unang equation natin, si Albert Einstein ang nakadiscover na kung saan ang ibig sabihin niya ay the ratio of energy to mass is equal to the speed of light squared while the second one, V equals K over P is what we called as the Boyle's Law na kung saan ang nakadiscover naman ay si Robert Boyle noong 1662 na ang ibig sabihin naman as pressure of gas increases, the volume decreases. And now, let's talk about the definition of variation. What is variation? Variation is a relationship between two or more variables in such a way that has increases or decreases from one quantity to another quantity. Increasing or decreasing is a definite way. Now, let's move to the types of variation. Meron tayong tinatawag na types of variation. What are those? Number one, we have direct variation. Y equals kx. Ito ang kanyang standard form or formula ng ating direct variation. Y equals kx. Number two, we have direct square variation. Ang kanya namang formula ay y equals kx squared. Halos similar siya sa direct variation. Yun nga lang, ang ating x ay may exponent na 2. Number 3, we have inverse variation. y equals k over x. Number 4, joint variation. y equals kx z. Meron tayong 3 variables. Number 5, Combined variation, y equals kx over z. Ating isa-isahin kung ano ba ang tinatawag at papaano sila nagkakaiba-iba sa pamamagitan ng kanilang mga examples. Simula natin. Okay, let's start with the first one, direct variation. What is direct variation? It states that y varies directly as x. Meron tayong dalawang variable, meron tayong y, at meron tayong x variable. Ano pa ang ibig sabihin ng direct variation? Pwede rin natin sabihin ng statement ay ganito. We have y is directly proportional to x. What else? We have y is proportional. What else? We have y... What else? We have y is proportional to x. 
that is equivalent to y equals kx. Tatandaan natin na ang ginamit nating variable dito ay dalawa, y at x, na kung saan ang k ay to be considered as constant of the variation, y equals kx. Take note, where k is the constant of variation. Okay, para mas lalo nating maunawaan kung ano ba yung tinatawag nating direct variation, let's proceed to our example. Number one, y varies directly as x if y equals 12 when x equals 4. Our target is, letter A, find the constant of variation. Letter B, we need to determine the equation of direct variation. Letter C, what is x when y is 36? Isa-isahin natin. Simulan natin sa letter A, find the constant of variation. Okay, let's proceed to our letter A. Our first target is to determine or find the constant of variation. If y equals 12 when x equals 4, isulat muna natin. Ilagay muna natin ang ating formula ng direct variation, y equals kx. Then, substitute natin ang values. Ang value ng ating y ay 12. Ito yon, At ang value ng ating x ay 4. Ito yon. What will happen? Nag-substitute tayo. Madi-divide ang ating 4 dito, both sides. Divided by 4, both sides. Makakansil ngayon ang ating 4 o kaya that is equivalent to 1. K na lamang ang matitira doon. Then, 12 divided by 4. What will be the answer? K equals 3. Therefore, the constant of variation is 3. K equals 3. The value of K is 3. How about in letter B? Determine the equation of direct variation. If Y equals 12 when X equals 4. Since nakukuha na tayo, since nakakuha na tayo ng value ng k, which is 3, sa substitute na lang natin. Isulat uli natin ang ating standard form of direct variation, y equals kx. Ang value ng y ay 12, at ang value ng x ay 4, wherein, ang target lang naman natin dito ay determine the equation of direct variation. Therefore, the equation of direct variation is y equals 3x. And take note, kung mapapansin natin, ang nabuo nating equation ay tinatawag nating linear. Linear function ang magiging graph niya kapag meron tayong points. Depende kung merong solution na mabubuo sa mga set of points. Kapag may solution, kapag iisang solution lamang, makakabuo tayo ng intersecting line. Kapag only one solution, kapag naman infinite solution, ang mabubuo nating linear graph or uh, sa ating graph ng ating linear equation ay tinatawag nating overlapping kapag infinite solution. No, or aside from overlapping, tinatawag din nating siyang coinciding line. Next, how about naman kapag naman no solution? Wala tayong mabuong solution. Ang graph naman natin sa y equals 3x ay Kapag kaganyan na ating equation, linear, kapag no solution ay para line ang mabubuo natin. Okay? How about letter C? If y varies directly as x, if y equals 12, when x equals 4. Letter C, what is x when y is 36? Again, we need to write y equals kx as our standard form of direct variation. Susulat lang muna natin or uh, ilalagay yung ating formula, y equals kx. Again, our target is to determine the value of x when y is 36. Okay, now since the value of y here is 36, the value of y here again is 36, then the value of k, nakuha na natin kanina ang value ng k, which is 3, substitute lang natin ang values, 36 equals 3x. Then, as we can see here, pwede natin i-divide both sides by 3. x na lang ang matitira sa kaliwa, or sa kanan rather. 
sa kanan, then 36 over 3 equals x. Then 36 divided by 3 is 12. Therefore, the value of x equals 12.